Hey guys, in this video, you're going to learn how to create a website design questionnaire using Content Snare. Now I'm starting here on the blog post on the Content Snare website. At, you can see the URL there and it will be right below this video uh, if you're watching this on YouTube. So you can come over to here to get the list of questions that you can create and also to learn a little bit about why uh, why website design questionnaires are important to get right and how you can filter clients. Um, if I scroll through here, you can see um, some of the benefits. We dig into that. Um, I don't want to you know, reiterate all of this. It's pretty easy for you to uh, cruise through on your own time and check this out. So um, we talk about some tools you can use. Um, uh, there's the question list, uh, a bit more on uh, how to filter your clients uh, using the results that come back uh, and a few other little, little bits and pieces. But go and check that out. Um, for now, I'm just gonna show you how to actually create this with Content Snare. So I've just scrolled down to the question list. Now you will need a Content Snare account for this and if you don't have one yet, uh, you'll see there are a few different links inside the blog post itself. There'll also be a link below the video if you're on YouTube. Um, otherwise, you can just go uh, to the top of any page on contentsnare.com, click that start my trial button and you will end up uh, here where you can just create your account. Um, but for now, I'll just go back to the question list and I'll show you inside my account. Uh, but first, I will also show you a conventional website brief form. Now, this is our old one from when we built websites uh, using a WordPress plugin uh, to ask various questions. The issue with this as this is a multiple page one that goes into several questions, uh, basically the same ones as here, you know, how did you find out about us? Do you have web content ready? So there's quite a lot of questions here to ask uh, and it's important to get all of this right so you can get the project off on the right, right foot. Uh, but if you are asking all these questions in a form that they have to sit down in, in one go, uh, we found that a lot of clients never got to the end of it or they would get halfway through and abandon it, uh, which of course means lost clients or taking a longer time to get those projects across the line so you can actually get paid and start working. So what uh, we actually moved to is using Content Snare after a few of our clients, uh, Content Snare clients, told us they were using the tool for website design questionnaires. So what uh, you can actually do, uh, well, Content Snare allows your clients to fill things out in multiple sittings, but more importantly, it actually stays on top of them by emailing them and reminding them to come back and complete it when they've got time. So uh, what you can then do is simply with your client's email address after they have registered interest in a website with you, you can send them a content snare or a snare or a request <laughs> and then uh, it will chase them up until they've got all the information. And then of course you can use your same content snare account to collect content from clients which was the original uh, design of Content Snare to streamline that process of getting content from clients which is one of the biggest bottlenecks in the web design process. So uh, once you've got your account, you'll be able to use it for both things. Um, yeah, and, and streamline both your process of website briefing and content. So let's jump over into Content Snare and I'm going to create a new request. And I'm gonna split this up into two screens so that we can look at the questions on one and the request on the other. So what we might do is just call this website uh, questionnaire. Now, this is also where you'll create your client. So for the person you're gonna send this to, you'll create a new client. Um, you'll give them a name, uh, a, the business name, a contact name, a contact email. That's all you really need for now. Um, I'm just gonna leave it with this default one that I've got set up. If you wanna give it a project, you can. Uh, and if you wanna give it a due date, you can. Uh, and you can actually base emails off uh, the day you send the request. So you could say follow them up in three days and five days and seven days, uh, or based on the due date. So you could say a week before the due date, send them another email. Uh, I'm not gonna dig into that too much in this video uh, because there's plenty of training videos inside Content Snare about how the follow-ups work, but it's all under this menu here. The next major part is templates. So by the time you've watched this, the user interface might've changed a bit as we are planning some pretty big uh, changes here. 
but there will still be the ability to create a request from a template. And by the time you're watching this, the website design questionnaire template might even be built in. So if you have a look in this list and you can select web design questionnaire uh, out of the box, then all these questions will be sucked in and you can immediately start sending your questionnaires. But for this video, I'm just going to show you how to build one from scratch. And then you can actually save that as a template so you can reuse it on other clients. So I'm going to scroll down. Actually, if I tab over to my initial website brief, let's say you have one already, um, you can pretty much pinch everything from your existing request. So in my request instructions, which are displayed to uh, users when they first log in or your clients, you might uh, just put put that there. You notice um, there's some default instructions here that shows your clients how to use the system. So uh, you might leave that in there and put the initial thingy there, the other instructions. You can put images in and stuff if you like. You can even have videos embedded in those instructions if you want to walk your clients through the process. But uh, let's go through to the questions. So we only need uh, one tab in this case. You can also you can split this into multiple tabs if you like, but in this case, I'm just going to leave it all on one. Uh, and then we're going to give it some sections. So let's we don't actually need contact details right because we're sending this directly to a client uh, we've, we've specified their name and all that up there so we don't need to request that so the first one we're going to talk about is how did you find out about us so jumping back to the uh, blog post we might call this just initial questions as a section and then we can add some fields to this so how did you find out about us might be a multi-line text and we'll simply call it how did you hear about us and if you want to keep instructions in there like this one if someone told you about us enter their name here we can say we're going to add some instructions and put that in there uh, and then do your do you have your web content ready so this is probably going to be a radio field so if we choose that we can throw in the title and add our options. Now moving on, these questions about your products and services and ideal customers, they kind of come under maybe a your business type section. So we can create a new section called your business. Now just like my brief you might want to create this as a second page so they actually click next in this case and it takes them to the page about their business uh, you could create this as a new tab up the top but i'm just going to keep going through here for now make it a blank section jump back over to here and start asking these questions so what are your products and services we could make this a formatted field, if, which is also known as a WYSIWYG field, if you want them to be able to uh, add bold and bullet points and that kind of thing. Limit, limit text length if you like, probably not necessary in this case. But of course, then you can provide some instructions about uh, how to describe their products and services. And then we're just gonna continue through uh, with some of these questions and keep building up our form. Now, uh, by now you probably get the gist of where this is going. So I'm not going to create every single question uh, in this list. Uh, that's up to you. And your uh, questions are probably going to depend a little bit on your business, but you can get our full list on the blog post actually. Um, you can get the full question list and, and uh, um, but uh, now I'll just show you what it looks like to clients. So if you were to publish this request, uh, we're gonna get a special link and when you publish it's actually going to s automatically send that email to our client I'll open that up in an incognito window and uh, your client gets a much simpler interface which again might have changed by the time you watch this video as this is going to get massively simplified so your client only has to focus on one question at a time but yeah they'll come in here and type things in and uh, fill out their questionnaire the other thing to remember is uh, once we have created that request, once you've added all your information in, you can save this as your own template. 
You can even save uh, tabs as templates or sections if necessary. But in this case, it would make sense to just do the whole request because you're going to be sending this exact same thing to multiple clients. Um, that's it. That's all there is to creating your website questionnaire with Content Snare. If you have any questions about using the tool, uh, once you sign up, you'll find a little chat icon like this in the bottom right hand corner. Click on that uh, and send a question through to us and we'll help you get set up. Awesome. Thanks for watching. Hopefully see you on the inside.